The history of golf has been shaped by some legendary figures, players and pioneers whose brilliance out on the course often helped change the game itself. Resident coach Simon Holmes has been looking back at the incredible careers of some of these greats of the game. Today it's the turn of Walter Hagen, a flamboyant pioneer of modern professional golf. Walter Hagen was born in 1892 in Rochester, New York, and he started golf as a caddy. So he must have seen sort of the big country clubs and the big sort of wealthy players from New York, and he must have aspired to that because he was born into a very interesting period of time. Sort of the amateur game was where sort of all the elitism and distinguished players were, were from that side, and the professionals were sort of like these paid rogues. Um, who you could hire for entertainment, but they didn't really, you know, they didn't fit in the clubhouse, they weren't even allowed in the clubhouse. Well, no one broke down those barriers more than Walter Hagen. He had this incredible um, personality, you know, first of all, as a player, you know, was an su incredibly successful player. 11 majors he won, 54 he entered, 11 he won, including the match play. So the PGA, the US PGA at that time was match play. Of all the matches he played, 26, he only lost twice. So he was a match play genius. And I think that was more sort of the hallmark of his game. He was in a sense um, like a balasteros, you know, he was wild off the tee, but had these amazing uh, sort of powers of recovery. But mentally, he had the ability to break down his opponent. Um, so he really understood sort of the psychology of the game and how to play sort of the man and man-to-man -man combat. Um, so a, in terms of a player, what he achieved was sensational. He's pretty unlucky, actually, because the Western Open, um, in the time period that he was playing, the Masters hadn't kicked off until 1934. But the Western Open was probably, after the US Open and the British Open, the third biggest event, which he won five times. Um, so probably if you were to be friendly to Walter, you could add some extra events for him. So, but nevertheless, a superstar on terms of playing on the golf course. But off the golf course, Nobody did more for the professional cause than Walter Hagen. You know, he broke down barriers. He was an incredibly flamboyant guy. He earned a huge amount of money, the first sportsman in the world to earn a million dollars. And as much as he earned, as fast as he earned it, it flowed through him um, on all sorts of sort of uh, amazing cars, buying diamond um, cufflinks for people. So he had this incredibly uh, sort of flamboyant lifestyle, incredible costumes, these silk trousers, all this sort of stuff. And, and a bit of a, a, a monkey, I would say, as well, off the course. He used to show up um, in a tux from the night before to play these exhibition matches. Exhibition matches, apart from sort of the regular competitions, were incredibly important because they allowed sort of the regular middle classes to see golf being played. And he, you know, through his association with Wilson in building these cast golf clubs, you know, drove down the cost of getting into golf and made golf more and more accessible. So for every professional golfer who earns money from the game today, take a hat off and say thank you to Walter Hagen.